Our oceans, lakes, rivers and reservoirs all hold mysteries that we may never uncover in our lifetime. But that doesn't mean we have to stop searching. Let's go underwater to uncover some surreal underwater ruins. Kakova, Turkey Sometime in the 2nd century AD, a whole town on the island of Kakova vanished. The island was a prominent place in the Byzantine era, so the impact of the island being here today, gone tomorrow, must have been surreal. An earthquake was responsible for the disappearance. If you take a boat tour, you can see Kokova's ruins through the clear blue waters of the Med. However, it is a protected area, so snorkeling isn't permitted. But from the boat, you will easily spot stone staircases and complete buildings. Pavla Petri, Greece Pavla Petri is thought to be one of the oldest submerged cities in the world. It dates to around 5,000 years ago, but ended its time on dry land around 1000 BCE. Three earthquakes hit the area in close succession and sent Pavla Petri into the Mediterranean Sea. It settled around 4 meters deep, just off the coast of southern Laconia in Greece. Pavla Petri is thought to have been a thriving harbor town, and there is plenty of evidence that its well-protected bay would have been ideal for welcoming Bronze Age ships. It was first mapped in 1968 by underwater archaeologist Dr. John Henderson, but since then no work has been carried out on it, and it remains a sunken mystery with many unanswered questions. Villa Epikian, Argentina Since 1921, Villa Epikian was on the tourist map among Argentina's wealthiest. It was a favorite getaway built around the salty waters of Epikian Lake. The waters were thought to have a therapeutic effect, like the Dead Sea. They were known to improve skin and rheumatic conditions, and their mineral waters were considered a miracle cure. During the summer months between November and March each year, the town of 1,500 expanded to accommodate 5,000 tourists. Hotels, spas, lodges and restaurants served the busy tourist season and business was booming. But the growing Villa Epikian community forgot one detail. They hadn't maintained the containment dam that held the healing waters from submerging the town. On November 10, 1985, after a series of stormy days, the dam wall gave way and the locals had to be evacuated and homes and businesses were abandoned as the water covered the town. 25 years later, the water began to subside. But even today, several blocks of the village remain submerged. The area has attracted a whole different tourist now. It is a tourist paradise for those looking for interesting photo locations. The Pyramids of Yonagunijima, Japan The Pyramids of Yonagimi are the only entry on our list that is shrouded in mystery of whether or not it is actually a sunken city or not. We know for sure it is sunken, because the giant rock formations were part of a land bridge when Yonaguni was connected to Taiwan. However, if this was a man-made structure, it would date back to during the last ice age, which was around 10,000 years ago. Since the Yonaguni pyramids were discovered in 1986, they have perplexed scientists. Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist, is convinced that they were carved by human hands. He owes his theory to the right angles of the blocks of rock. Strategic placed holes and aesthetic triangles, all signs of human alteration, according to him. He has also identified pyramids, castles, roads, monuments, and a stadium structure in the rock mass. He believes that Yonaguni is the lost continent of Mu, kind of like the Japanese story of Atlantis. He further backs this up with evidence of carvings on the rocks that he proposes resemble ancient Kaida script. On the other side of the debate is Robert Scotch, a professor at Boston University, who believes the rock formations are the result of basic geology and classics stratigraphy for sandstones, which tends to break along planes and gives you these very straight edges, particularly in an area with lots of faults and tectonic activity. Because sandstone does erode in straight lines, it is entirely possible the exact lines of the structure are just natural erosion. He considers that if there was an element of carving, it was into an already existing structure, because the rocks are connected to a hidden rock mass which could not have been moved. The real red herring is the discovery of pottery, stone tools and fireplaces found at the site. These have been dated back to 2500 BCE. What this indicates is that the area was inhabited, but it doesn't uncover if the rock formations were man-made or a natural phenomenon. Pliskensi, South Tyrol, Italy the residents of the towns of Graun and Resken tried their best to prevent their homes from being flooded, but there was no hope. This wasn't a natural disaster or the result of a dam bursting, but rather done on purpose by a power company building a dam to generate seasonal hydropower. The city protested, but the plans went ahead. Their homes were demolished and the valley flooded. All that remains today is the bell tower of Graun's 14th century church. 
In winter, when the lake freezes over, you can walk right up to the bell tower, standing tall and a proud reminder of the history of the lost village below. Venice, Italy In years to come, perhaps, Venice will feature on this list as a sunken city. But for now, thankfully, it remains only a sinking city. So, why this shift? Venice is perched on the Adriatic Plate. This plate is subducting under the Apennines Mountains. This means that a plate on the Earth's crust moves under another plate in a sideways and downwards direction. On top of this, the weight of Venice is causing the sediment below to compact. This is causing Venice to sink further on the eastern parts and the western part of the floating city is higher. This is happening at a rate of 0.08 inches every year. Italy has begun efforts to stop the subsiding and as far back as the early 2000s started installing inlet gates. The system is known as MOSE and consists of 78 gates across three inlets. In 2018, Venice was hit with massive flooding, the worst in a decade, and this has hampered progress. The initial completion date was aimed for 2021, but it has been delayed and is now estimated for 2022. The Submerged Temples of Mahabali Purim, India The recent discovery of a submerged stone temple complex has stumped archaeologists and historians. In April 2002, the major discovery offshore of Mahabali Purim in Tamil Nadu, South India, uncovered remains of walls, square-cut rock, scattered square and rectangular stone blocks, and a big platform with steps leading to it. There was even a lion figure which is thought to be part of a temple. According to local beliefs, the shore temple resting on dry land at Mahabali Purim is the seventh temple in a series of temples. The first six were submerged. This theory remains possible as the discovery of the submerged ruins is just offshore and only 5 to 7 meters deep. The Pallava dynasty, who ruled the region in the 7th century CE, constructed with cut rock and created temples in the area with the same building methods. But the mystery remains of how and why the buildings now lie at the bottom of the ocean. Sunken Cemetery, Camaguan Island, Philippines In the 1870s, Mount Vulcan erupted. In a violent display of seismic activity, the capital city of Camaguan and its cemetery sunk below sea level. Once the dust had settled, a giant cross on a small stone island was placed at the site of the lost city of Camaguan as a memorial to the lost citizens of the city. It is a dramatic sight to behold, a lone cross where a vibrant city once stood and Mount Vulcan still looming over Camaguan's watery grave. Corsair Plane Wreck Dive Site, Honolulu, Hawaii This surreal underwater wreck site is stunning. If you are looking for a challenging and unusual wreck to dive, then this sunken site is the one for you. In 1948, during a routine mission, an aircraft began to struggle over Honolulu. The pilot remained calm and carried out what could be considered a near-perfect crash landing. The aircraft did a smooth water landing and later the pilot was rescued as he bobbed around in his life jacket nearby. The Corsair plane was undamaged but also not terribly buoyant, so upon landing it started to sink to the bottom of the ocean, where it remains. It is a challenging 150 feet dive in an area of swift and unpredictably strong current action. Divers experienced enough to tackle it will be rewarded with a variety of sea life as they explore the aircraft wreck. Eels, stingrays and jacks all call the Corsair home. Which of these underwater places would you most like to visit? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 1. Atlantis remains in our sights. The search for Atlantis has been a life's mission for many explorers, archaeologists and historians. To date, it remains undiscovered. Although many conspiracy theories abound that it has long since been discovered and has been covered up, Atlantis has been discovered so many times over the centuries, it's hard to keep up. The more plausible theories include the following. Plato made it up. Plato has given many a testimony as to where Atlantis really lies. But perhaps after being so serious all the time, he was just up for having a little laugh. Another theory is that Antarctica is the real Atlantis. But that sounds a bit far-fetched. Even more so than the theory of Plato. Some believe that Atlantis was swallowed up by the Bermuda Triangle. And then finally, it's been put down to a Greek legend that has been retold so many times that its original story is lost forever. 
Some believe that within 500 years, Seattle as we know it will also be underwater and could be the new Atlantis 2.0. Oh, my God.